most important problem is given solution in this video see here this problem is related to the functions of complex variables now in this video i'm going to determine the analytic function if the real part u is given as 2 cos x into cos hy divided by cos 2x plus cos h2y see here now i'm going to make a derivative with respect to x that is dou u by dou y so here u is given so first of all i'm going to make a derivative with respect to y see i am using the formula that derivative of u by y is equal to that is v square v u dash minus u v dash i am following this uh, formula and see here with respect to y i am making see so this is u and this is v so if you follow these steps so the numerator is u and the denominator is v first one v square so this whole thing i have to consider it as v that is cos 2x plus cos h2y whole square v square and i have to write v for one time that is cos 2x into cos h2y so this is plus for one time into u dash so the u with respect to y for cos hy this will be sine that is cos 2 cos x into sine hy minus what is u here i have to write u that is 2 cos x 2 cos x into cos hy into the derivative with respect to y so with respect to y is nothing but 2 sine h2y see completed see then do u by do y value will be so if i multiply so this is 2 cos x this is cos 2x into this value is sin hy and if i multiply this one so this is 2 cos x this is cos h2y into this value is sin hy so this is minus 4 times of this is cos x into this is cos hy into this value is sin h2y divided by this is cos 2x plus this is cos h2y whole square so this is with respect to y see here what is u here u is nothing but u is equal to this is cos 2 cos x 2 cos x into cos hy divided by this value is cos 2x plus this is cos h2y so now i'll make a derivative with respect to x again the same thing that is i am using the same formula that is derivative of u by v is equal to this is v square v u dash minus u into v dash u into this is v dash so if i use this formula then do u by do do x value will become see here so this is u and this is v so i have to make the denominator square that is cos 2x plus this is cos h2y cos h2y whole square so i have to write v for one time that is cos 2x plus this is cos h2y for one time i have to make a derivative u with respect to x so with respect to x for cos x this is minus sin x that is minus sin x this is cos hy and minus I have to write u for one time that is 2 cos x into cos hy v I have to make a derivative with respect to x with respect to x means so this is minus 2 sin 2x clear so putting in this formula so I will simplify this one so if I multiply this will be minus 2 sin x this is cos 2x and this value is cos hy and if i multiply this is minus 2 sin x this is cos hy and this is cos h2y minus into minus this value is plus 4 this is cos x this is cos hy and this value is sin 2x divided by this value is cos 2x plus cos h2y whole square. Now I have the value of dou u by dou x and dou u by dou y ready. 
and now I have to find out the analytic function. So for finding the analytic function, see here. So I have to find the analytic function if the real part u is given. So how to find this analytic function? So in order to find the analytic function, I am using this Milne's-Thompson method. So which method I am using? Milne's-Thompson method. So what is this Milne's-Thompson method? I am showing you f of z. So it is very clear that f of z is equal to this is u plus i into v. If I make a derivative with respect to x, f dash of z is nothing but dou u by dou x plus i times of dou v by dou x. Now I have only the real part. Real part. I don't have this imaginary part. Just I am going to transform the imaginary part into real part using CR equations. What are those CR equations? So Cauchy-Riemann equations. According to the Cauchy-Riemann equations, I have dou u by dou x as dou v by dou y and again dou u by dou y as minus dou v by dou x. So in place of dou v by dou x, I am going to write minus dou u by dou y. So just I am going to transform. So this will be f dash of z. f dash of z is equal to this is dou u by dou x. In place of dou v by dou x, I am going to write minus dou u by dou y. Here i is there. So I have both the values ready here. Just now I found so this will be, so what is dou u by dou x? So dou u by dou x value is very clear here. So I am going to substitute this one. So f dash of z is equal to, so f dash of z is equal to dou u by dou x value is, so this is, see here, this is minus 2 sin x. See here, minus 2 sin x into this value is cos 2x into this is cos hy minus 2 sin x. This is cos hy and the next one is cos h2y plus this value is 4 cos x cos hy. This is sin 2x. Hmm? Clear? And this is minus i times of. The next one dou u by dou y. So dou u by dou y is also very clear here. So this value will be minus i times of. This is minus i times of, I am just copying, this is 2 cos x, cos 2x, this is sin hy, so this is sin hy, plus this is 2 cos x, cos h2y, this is cos h2y, and again sin hy, and the next one is minus 4 cos x, this is cos hy, sin h this is 2y divided by the whole thing is divided by so this whole thing is divided by this is cos see let me show you cos 2x plus cos h2y cos 2x plus this is cos h2y whole square so this is dou u by dou x value and this is dou u by dou y value see here now, according to the Milne-Thompson method, we have to replace, see here, it's so important, replace x by z and y by 0. And this value will become, and this f dash of z becomes, see here, it's very, very simple here. f dash of z is equal to, see here, so this is minus 2 sin z in place of x, I am writing z. And this is cos 2z and y in place of y have to write 0 cos 0 this is 1 and the next thing here is minus 2 so this is a sin z this is minus sin z cos 0 is 1 and cos h into 0 is 1 and here it is 4 times of so this is uh, 4 plus 4 times of this value is cos z cos 0 1 and this is sin 2z and minus i times of c here. So in this sin 0, 0 and this value sin 0, 0 and this is sin 0, 0. And so there is no value here divided by this is cos 2x. Sorry, this is cos 2z and y0. So this is cos 0, 1 whole square. 
and now see here we have f of z value as f of z value as and see here i can take minus 2 sin z common so if i take minus 2 sin z common this is minus 2 sin z this will be cos 2 z plus 1 and this value is 4 cos z into sin 2 z divided by so this value is cos 2 z plus 1 whole square and now see the formula which i am going to use in order to simplify this so we have formulas for intermediate from intermediate so this is the formulae that sin 2z is nothing but this is 2 sin z into cos z and next cos 2 theta is nothing but 2 cos square theta minus 1 so these are the things which i am going to use here sin 2z and next cos 2z so using this formulae i am going to simplify so see here f dash of z is equal to see here f dash of z is equal to this is minus 2 sin z so in place of cos 2 theta i am going to write 2 cos square theta minus 1 that is 2 cos square z minus 1 and there is plus 1 here and see here this is 4 this is cos z 4 into cos z and in place of sin 2 z so in place of sin 2 z i am writing 2 sin z into cos z clear divided by so what is cos 2z cos 2z can be written as see here cos 2z can be written as 2 cos square z 2 cos square z minus 1 and there is plus 1 whole square clear now i'll cancel this minus 1 and plus 1 minus 1 and plus 1 and see then f dash of z is equal to f dash of z is equal to this is minus 2 minus 2 sin z and this is 2 cos square z and if i multiply 4 2 z this is 8 this is sin z cos z into cos z this is cos square z divided by so this is 2 square is 4 and this value is power 4 into z so if i multiply f dash of z is equal to minus 2 into 2 this is 4 this is sin z into this value is cos square z plus 8 times of this is sin z into the value here is cos square z divided by this is 4 cos power 4 cos power 4 z so see here plus 4 and minus plus 8 and minus 4 so this is nothing but plus 4 4 this value is a sin z cos square z by 4 times of this value is cos power 4 z see here this is plus 8 minus 4 so which is equal to plus 4 and now i can cancel this 4 for one time and this is square so this for two times see here so what remains here f dash of z is equal to this is sin z by this value is cos square z so this can be written as f dash of z can be written as sin z by cos z into 1 by cos z so f dash of z is equal to this is nothing but tan z into this value is secant z now if i make an integration with respect to z this is dz and this is dz therefore our analytic function f of z is equal to see here secant theta into tan theta is nothing but secant z plus c therefore this is the value so this is the analytic function which is needed and therefore therefore our, this is the analytic function which we have to get so what is our analytic function this is a secant z plus theta see here it's so simple and let me explain you for one more time and see here what is given u is given so i made a derivative with respect to y and this is the value for this and i made so u this question i made a derivative with respect to x and this is the 
value so in order to find the analytic function i'm going to use millis thompson method f of z is equal to u plus iv i made a derivative throughout the equation with respect to x and there is no imaginary part here imaginary part is not given so i transformed into real part using zr equations so dou v by dou x is returned as uh, minus dou u by dou y so it is substituted as minus dou u by dou y so both the values are ready here see here dou u by dou y value is ready dou u by dou x value is ready i substituted and the denominator is uh, same for both the values and so i uh, use for millis thompson method i have to replace x by z and y by 0 and after substituting y as 0 and x as z so this is the only thing remained and see here so i use this formula that is sin 2z is equal to 2 sin theta cos theta and cos 2 theta is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1 so the leftover part is further simplified and see here so this is all simple calculations and we got tan theta into secant theta if i integrate on both sides secant theta into tan theta is nothing but secant theta and this is the analytic function and this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching this is the most most important problem please practice definitely you can solve by your own pass it on to your friends and subscribe to this channel for further further videos